Everybody knows that I am a big fan of Novation MIDI controllers, especially Novation MK2 series of MIDI controllers. Those are the best MIDI controllers if you want to use controller to control hardware and software. There is nothing like that before and nothing like that after this uh, model. So, and I will explain you what are unique, fun unique functions that you can find in those uh, controllers. And I will give you some tips and I will give you some tricks that you can use if you are using software and if you have problem uh, with using software with Novation SLMK2. In front of me, I have Novation 49 SLMK2. Then I have zero SLMK2. And over there I have 61 and I have over there one as well, another zero Novation and I have in Bosnia Novation 61 SLMK2. I have a couple of those keyboards. I want to make sure that I have enough keyboards for future because I'm not planning to change controller. I'm just waiting for new model, Catron Event, but I'm going to keep same controllers because there is no better controller to control any hardware than those controllers. And now I will explain you why. So let us start. First, everything that you can see on this uh, Zero SLMK2, it is same that you can find behind uh, 49 SLMK2 uh, or 61 SLMK2. So that's why I have Zero in front of me just to show you what is on the back side of this uh, controller. So what is specific here, what we can find, what we cannot find in another controllers or it is very really to find on any another controller. So we have MIDI port one, output input, MIDI port two, and we have USB. Why is this important? We actually have three MIDI ports and we can connect three MIDI devices separately and we can control them. For example, what I like to do, I like to connect with USB connection my controller to uh, uh, to computer and control Cubase virtual instruments and at the same time I will get power. I like to use this connection to control hardware and in my case, in my studio, I have two Arranger MIDI controllers. I have Roland BK7 and I have SD90. So I'm using one output for SD90 and another MIDI port I'm using for BK7. I want to avoid any looping of the sound and I want to avoid any kind of problem that can happen if I'm uh, recording or playing live or controlling different devices at the same time. So I will tell you which kind of control I'm using when I'm performing with SD90. When I'm using 49 keys, uh, I'm using one of my templates, that is template, this one. It says SD90 TM49. So that is one template if I'm using for SD, uh, uh, this controller. But if I'm using uh, 61 keys that I am, then I'm using another template. Why I have two templates? All commands are same. There's a lot of buttons plenty of buttons. That's why Innovation is good controller for hardware. You have plenty of buttons that you can use to control sounds, combination of the so sounds or styles. You can call them just by pressing buttons. That's why it's very important to have controller with a lot of buttons. Let me talk about setting that I'm using for my uh, Novation 61 keys. Okay, if I press there, that is my template. If I go to edit, now first thing that I'm using, uh, not uh, actually and uh, not global edit. Now you can see that here where it says template, usually in your keyboard, if, if you go to that part, when you press edit, it will show maybe off zones. Those are zones. You can have several zones. Several zones are actually splitting of the uh, your key keyboard. You can split your keyboard on several zones. I am doing that in two zones. I am using template. When I choose template, then I go to zone edit. If I go to zone edit, then you can see that I'm using two zones, zone one and zone two. 
why I want to use two zones? It will work only with zone one. Then I can decide on splitting in my keyboard. But if I decide splitting here, I can do more control. And on top of that, more control of just ASD90, I can have additional control or uh, for another devices that are connected at the same time to Novation. First, in zone one, I'm going from lower note minus uh, two. So let me show you something here. Just move that camera a little bit down. So I am going from the beginning of the keyboard. And if it's 61 keys, my splitting zone is here. So for left hand and from C3 is begin for, for right hand. If I show you here, exactly what it's telling here. It says that my zone goes from C minus two to B2, high note is B2. I'm not engaging any transpose. And um, my MIDI chain is keyboard chain and my port is USB port one because this keyboard is connected to Catron. Uh, a sound module Catron is connected through USB ca cable. That's why I'm using USB port. If I'm using another port, I can decide which port I want to use. Why is that important? In this case, if I'm using USB port, maybe another musician with another keyboard wants to use at the same time Catron, but if he wants to use MIDI port, then in this case, we will not uh, be mixed. Uh, this is not going to interfere. My playing or his playing is not going to interfere uh, playing to other musician. So I'm using port USB port one. But now if I'm playing by myself, I will go to zone two. On zone two, uh, just a moment here button, zone two. On zone two, I am again using USB port because if I'm alone by myself, I'm using uh, same USB port. And I, I didn't activate any transpose, but lower note is C3 and higher note is G8. So now I have two zones as, as, uh, as one musician. I don't need a lot of things to do here. Just I want to make sure if I decide somehow to work in studio and if I connect Novation to my studio uh, USB connection, then I will choose uh, one uh, for example, zone, zone two, right hand, maybe I can choose for virtual instruments and then zone one, I can change instead of using USB port, I can use, uh, for example, MIDI port one or MIDI port two. That's why it is very important to have zones in further uh, uh, decision, you can change whatever you want. You can switch one zone to another arranger, to another keyboard, to a computer and you can have more zones, not only two zones. So in this case, I am so flexible that I can decide what I want to play with left hand, what I want to play with right hand. And that is my setting for 61 keys. The most important thing for 61 keys is my split at C3, a note. So first zone goes to B2 and second zone from C3. And now I will go to the next template where I am using 49 key novation. Again, I am using two zones, but in this video, I will answer one question to one guy who was asking in a, a, on Catron forum, can I have a right hand solo section? Can I have that for Octava higher? Thanks to this novation, if you are using uh, 49 keys, you must have that and you should have that and you need that. Why? Now splitting point at this keyboard is moving from B to E flat, left hand, and E2 for right hand. Why is that? Because this keyboard doesn't have 61 keys, less keys, and I want to more space for solo section and less space for chords for left section. So that's why I will do another split here. And now what I'm doing here in setting 
Now it comes very important thing what you should do in setting if you want to have Octava higher right hand. In setting, I will go to edit. Then I will go ag again to uh, uh, just a moment. I have to disconnect this. I have to. I always press global instead of edit. Somehow I make mistakes in edit. Now again, zone edit, and my first zone goes now from minus two C to higher note E flat two, and and port is a USB one. Second zone. Now there is important thing for all of you who are using 49 keys controller. And now it's very important why you should have two zones. In second zones is going from E2 to uh, G8, but transpose, look at, is plus 12. So I don't need to do anything on SD90. Everything is done on MIDI controller. So I have split and I have transpose only for second zone for my right hand and second zone goes from E2 to G8. So keychain is same, uh, MIDI chain keyboard is, uh, and port is U1, USB1. So for SD90 is the best solution to use USB port because in this case you will get power through that port and you, have, you will have incredible control. Uh, if you want to use uh, two USB ports at the same time, with two MIDI controllers, uh, you cannot use. You will have some problems there. So that's why it's excellent idea to have more MIDI ports. You have USB port and you have another MIDI port. Then you have another MIDI port. And now later I will show you why it is good to have MIDI port that has input and output. Now I will give you some tricks if you want to use MIDI editor for novation, and if you want to work uh, on uh, programming through MIDI uh, uh, editor. So there is MIDI editor that's free. You can start it and say, okay, now this is MIDI editor SLMK2. This MIDI editor works in Windows 10 and Windows 11 latest version, but you have to use some tricks. In previous version, it works without tricks. But in new version, it works with tricks. So what is trick? You cannot connect USB connection. If you connect MIDI USB connection, you will not be able to start this software. This software will not start and you will not be able to see this window. So I tried to figure out how to go around and to start this software. So whenever I disconnect, I can start the software. But when I connect with USB connection, I cannot with latest version of Windows 10 or Windows 11. But now, thanks to this MIDI port output and input, important, I connected with those cables to my MIDI interface that I have. Presently, I am using MIDI interface. If I go to devices, select MIDI input. This is MIDI port. A port and MIDI port. So this MIDI interface is working for this connection and for this purpose, but it doesn't work very well if you want to use your arranger keyboard for live performing and live recording, MIDI recording, multi-track recording. It will give you a lot of headache and a lot of wrong recordings. You will have some long notes during whole songs and this MIDI recording is not going to be usable. That's why I suggest to you to buy Motu interface that works very well with Mac computer and PC computer without any problem. Or if you are doing that uh, recording, you can go through USB MIDI connection. It will work through USB, USB MIDI connection. But you will have some disadvantage if you are uh, working with SD90. That should be explained in another video. It is a long story about that. That's why when I am working with computer, I am using port number one for my SD90 and USB port I'm using for connection with computer and controlling Cubase uh, or uh, vi virtual instruments. So in this case, I will not have any kind of problems, but you have to do some, things, some settings there as well. So now when we know what you, we have to do here to uh, avoid problems, uh, not be able to start this program, 
Now I will show you how it works, how program works, actually. You will choose one of those templates. For example, you want to dump template and to send it to somebody. Now I will choose this template. You can see violin, uh, you can see name of the instruments, you can see functionality of this template or functions that I have here, a lot of settings. So now I will press, uh, first I will go here on uh, device and I will press listen for template. Then second, I will press to global. Then I will press to send receive. And then I will choose port. If you are on off, you have to choose proper port. You have to choose port M1. And now just press template. Dumping. And now you got everything. Now, whole instrument is there. Every command, everything, SISEX messages, CC messages, system messages, like choosing variations, choosing, uh, uh, so everything is there. Now, instead of writing names for, of, for those buttons, I'm mostly using this software uh, for that. You press twice and you can write name of the button. Type of the message, MIDI channel, CC number, so you can uh, as, uh, put, some information here which kind of button is that so everything for each of those buttons look at cc messages you can see and you can see here that i have some sisex messages so everything is now here visible in this software i can do additional programming and even if you press on sustain you can choose you can uh, choose some information here and you can you can work uh, which how sustain pedal is going to behave if you are using any kind of sustain pedal so it will give you some additional options to do something here so that is now and if i for example choose let us say i will choose template here another template for my roland and you can see na uh, uh, instruments here is, uh, those are styles, Frank, uh, Franks, Easy, uh, Easy Ballad, Golden Beat, something like that. Now, all different names. But if I want to dump this template to my innovation when I finish all programming, I just press upload and look at focus on this screen what is going to happen when I press upload. Upload. Done. Now I have another commands here. It says violin, hands, flute, clarinet, oboe, saxophone. So all instruments that I have on my SD90. So I can always dump templates from Novation to this editor or from editor to Novation. So oh, I can save it actually. Every template I can save and later I can open. If I go open, if I, I choose a Roland template BK7, for 49 keys Roland or 61 keys SLMK2 or Cubase template or any another template that I make here I can choose the template for example Roland BK7 uh, 49 keys and that is template and now if I say upload that template is coming to my novation and I have it inside of my novation it is working very well without any problem latest version of the Windows 10 and Windows 11 so thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe and have a great day